The Skechers Shape Ups are pretty popular shoes for women. They claim to tone up your legs and some other areas that we probably all like toned. But now the shoes are being marketed to girls as young as seven years old. And parents and child advocates are upset over that. Joining us this morning, child psychologist and early show contributor, Dr. Jennifer Hartstein and Melissa Henson of the Pe Parents Television Council. Good to have both of you with us this morning. Good morning. We have the shoes here. First, I want people to see the commercial because this is really what has sort of ignited the fire. So let's take a quick look at that. Heidi's got new shape ups, na 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 na. Got everything a girl wants, na 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 from Skechers. She's got the height, got the bounce, yeah, she's looking good and having fun. She's looking good and having fun. She's got the height, she's got the bounce. Well, so what was it about that commercial that when you saw it, made you sit back for a minute and say, hold on here. I think these, uh, the commercial in particular is really emphasizing all the wrong things. Um, if they're claiming that these shoes are to promote physical fitness, to promote health, um, then the message that they're communicating with the commercial is it's important to be popular, it's important to look tall, to look thin, to look attractive, to be popular. Um, you know, the girls in this commercial, for example, don't look like seven-year-old children. They look like teenagers. They're already developed. And so it's really aging girls up, I think. And, and is that, when you, when you look at this as a child psychologist, mm -hmm. what, what jumps out to you? Well, the, these messages are the messages that these girls are getting bombarded with all the time. It's another example of that. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, they don't know how to decipher the message. Mm -hmm. So they're getting this message, you want to look like a 14-year-old when you're seven, mm -hmm. and our 14-year-olds are looking like 21-year-olds. You know, mm -hmm. So it's this really tough message that's being passed along, and we're not focusing on the fitness part, we're focusing on the attractive part, and we want to get back to the fitness and healthy part. Well, in terms of the fitness, mm -hmm. we should say, here's what, here's what Skechers had to say about it. Quote, American children are more sedentary now than at any time in our history. Shape Up's intended purpose is to promote exercise and fitness, which should be viewed as a positive message for kids to get up, and get moving. We do want our kids to move more, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Some people say, okay, you know what, maybe you have a problem with it. Just don't buy the shoes. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that's enough. You know, if, if if it was only about the physical fitness aspect, then why don't we see a similar product on the market for young boys? We don't. Um, so really, what what we're seeing is another product that is sexualizing young girls, um, and this is an epidemic in this country. Just a couple months ago, there was a controversy over a padded bikini, a push-up bikini top for girls uh, that was being sold by Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, we've seen sexualized clothing targeted to teens, and now it's getting younger and younger and younger. And I find that alarming. And I think the message gets lost. Again, you know, it's healthy. It's then why aren't we saying that? We're saying be, you know, it makes me look good. That's not the same message. So then what do you do as a parent? So you, you, obviously you're the parent. You make the decision on what you buy for your kids. So you can say to your daughter, even if she asks for it, no, we're not buying these shoes. But then how do you follow up? How do you have that conversation so that the message isn't lost? Well, I think you as a parent first need to recognize that the message is in there and understand what the message is yourself. Sometimes parents go, it's harmless. It's no big deal. Who cares? Mm -hmm. And so you as a parent need to be educated on what the message is so that you then can go and sit down with your daughter and say, hey, this is this commercial. What do you think about it? We want you to be healthy. We want you to be smart. Let's make healthy choices in our house rather than only buy things because it makes us look good and set an example for them as their parent also. You that we know that kids are going to follow your example. You have to be the best role model. Is, it, is that hard to do sometimes as a parent, though, to have that discussion? Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, <coughs> we're not there to be popular. We're there to set limits, to, to provide guidance for our children. And so it's important that, uh, that we provide good role models as well. You know, if your daughter sees you obsessively worrying about, am I too fat? You know, uh, I don't like this bulge here. Or I don't like this wrinkle here. Then, then those are the messages your daughter is going to pick up as well. And they're, they're also going to start to and think that, yeah. And I should say, and that could be a message that even yeah, a son yeah. could pick up. Absolutely. Yeah. It really isn't only for one. We know that eating disorders are on the rise mm -hmm. in children of both sexes, and really focus on the body is on the rise in, in both sexes. So we want to mm -hmm. focus on the fact that that message needs to be trained for and taught to our girls, to our boys. It helps boys learn respect for girls, girls learn respect for boys, all that stuff. It's a great conversation to have. Melissa Henson, Dr. Jennifer Hartstein, appreciate you both coming in this morning. Thank Thanks. You. Thanks.